story, and then after that story, and after that story. And then following up a distant fourth will be the technical. So every single choice you make should reflect the story that you think you want to tell. First pass, go with the script. Keep all the lines in that are there in the order that they are. And then you can see how the actors approached it, how they shaped their performance. You're gonna be choosing among performances, so you're gonna see if that scans properly. Do that, and then once you pass your first cut, then be absolutely free with it. You can remove lines that don't seem to be working. You can rearrange things. You can invent things that uh, make sense within the context of the footage that was shot, but were not originally planned for. I'm Norman Holland. I'm a professor at USC in the editing department. I've written a couple of books. Uh, one, I'm proud of both but one of them that I really, really love is a book called The Lean Forward Moment, which examines the entire filmmaking process and all of its craft from a storytelling perspective, because there's so much that we have been playing with over the years that has to do with what buttons to press and how to press the buttons, and we never really talk about why you would press the buttons. And so for me, uh, it's much more important to understand why we would press those buttons because in another 10 years, those buttons are gonna change. First thing I do is read the script again. I know I've read the script already, but I read it again. I read it enough times, so hopefully I know it as well as the director does. I understand where the beats are. Once I understand where the key, in my terminology, lean forward moment is, uh, where the most important area of the scene is where you want the audience to inside lean forward and pay a little bit more attention, then I can start thinking about, well, what's the coverage in that area? So what does this mean? That means I'm going to want to organize my footage in a way that I can easily get to it. For me, this means taking a look at the line script. I work with the line script next to me because that's my roadmap in terms of what was shot. So first thing is make sure that all of the numbers and the takes, if they're listed on the line script, reflect what I really got. So that's the first thing. Make sure that the data is correct. Then make sure it's organized in your bins, inside your NLE in a way that's easy to get to. So this is up to you, right? It's not, it'll be different for everybody and every editor I know has slightly different ways of organizing their folders and their bins, and it depends upon which NLE you have. But the bottom line is, you think about how am I going to approach this scene, this film. Each scene has its own bin. That's how I like to work. Sometimes that's not scene number, but it's a storytelling block. So the entire chase sequence, I know you don't exactly have a chase sequence in this, but if there was, the entire chase sequence will be in a bin and organized in some way so I can easily find something. Then I watch each and every take, if I have time for it. If I don't, I still watch each and every take. What I'm doing is I'm trying to make sense of this massive amount of footage by figuring out an editing plan. That helps bring me down to the setup level. And then within the setup, then what take sells the story that needs to be sold at that particular moment? Uh, so that's best done if the material is organized in ways so I'm not hunting all over for it. There's a good number of VFX in, in this scene that you'll be cutting uh, for this. I want to organize them in some way so I can find the first pass, the second pass, the third pass, all the, all the different things that I'll be doing on them. Here's a tip that I like, by the way, for VFX is um, once I've done the composite, so let's say that I've got V1 and V2 for the composite, then the first quick time or pass that I get of the composite put together, I'll put on V3. And the second pass on V4. And then the next pass on V5. So I've got them all there so I can easily click through and see uh, that's better than the first one in here, but I like the first one better for this other element of the scene. Everything I'm doing is 
trying to make it easier for me to get to the footage without thinking about it. So then all I have to do is think about story. In this scene, you're probably gonna find just one place where the character who you choose undergoes a change that you want the audience to really feel. And then at that moment, you change things on screen. You go from a wide to a close-up. You add some sound uh, or take away sound. Uh, you begin a music cue where there'd been no music before. Or you end music or something. You're making some changes. You change the pacing. Uh, but you change something, and that's how the audience is going to, inside, know to pay attention because you've changed things. So typically in a scene like this, which does have an arc, but is relatively straightforward in terms of how the characters arc through the scene, there's probably going to be one place. That's my feeling about the scene. Your mileage may vary. Sometimes I will edit the section that's the lean forward moment first, because that's the crucial beat in the scene. Um, here's where the big change occurs in the story, in the character, in that arc, for that scene. It's all about organizing your thoughts as well as your footage, so you can tell the story to the audience that you want them to get, as opposed to them making up something because you haven't given them enough story. This is a great opportunity for you to bring your own sense of storytelling to the piece. So, what do you think the cosmos looks like? What's the relationship between these two characters? I completely encourage you to be brave with this material, to not take the easy way out, to not take the obvious way. Uh, if you take the obvious way, it's gonna look like everyone else's film. You don't want that. You wanna create something that's really personal to you. So how does this script resonate with who you are as a person? How does this uh, story resonate with the kinds of attitudes that you would have in a similar situation. You've got that license to do that. So you've got multiple styles and types of performance from each of the characters. You've got a wide variety of music that's been given to you. You have some great uh, green screen footage that's your choice on what to put there. What I would encourage you to do is to first figure out how the script resonates with you, how this story can become your story. Uh, is it a comedy? Um, is it a piece about two people who are angry at each other? Or one more angry and the other trying to catch up and figure out what's going on? Uh, figure out a shape for the scene. Determine whose scene it really is. In general, it's very, very hard for this length of scene to do a scene that's about both people. It's about one person who is affected by the other. So make those choices ahead of time. And then play with the footage, play with the varieties of the footage that you've got. Play with the different types of composites that you can create. And, and don't be predictable about it. You can change some things up to what I as a judge might expect. So, um, do a lot of that kind of thinking ahead of time, and then you'll find your editing gets much, much easier. The script that you've gotten is a fairly well-developed script, but like every script, it's step one in the editing process. Use things that you've got in your toolkit already and bring that story to the footage. So you can change script, you can change what some of the VFX are. Uh, you can play around with pieces of music. Don't just drop a piece of music in and that's the end of it. Actually create a shaped musical performance that may be about editing some things out or combining two or three cuts, uh, two or three cues into one. So bring your own artistry to this. As you know, you're cutting with H.264 footage, so the composites are not going to look lovely, I don't care. At this stage, 
if you're one of the winners, we're gonna finish that. You will get to go all the way to the end with the high res footage and it's gonna look awesome. But I don't need to see the most awesome composite in the world in order to know whether it's working for the story. So that's what I want you to do, is to come up with something that helps me understand who these people are and what your concept of their journey is and their story. So use everything that you've got at your disposal, legally, uh, that, um, that, that you feel can help tell that story. And then go with it. Because that's really the only way that you're going to bring your passion out and your editing skills by reaching deep inside. LA Post Fest, create your story in post.